Hello and welcome to LAT's Weekly Market Insights. This week we're going to be concentrating on how we can capitalize and how we can find trading opportunities within range bound and sideways markets. We're going to utilize some basic technical analysis techniques such as support resistance, candlestick formations and stochastic, a secondary indicator, momentum indicator designed to be utilized within range bound markets. And what better market to look at than gold? As we struggle at the moment and we battle for that risk on risk off mood, it is no surprise that we've seen gold go into this 15 minute consolidation and excellent range bound trading. Indice markets at the moment pushing to all time highs, risk currencies, and risk commodities all pushing to highs but of late showing some potential topping formations and potential signs of weakness that impact reflected here in gold the safe haven asset unsure whether we should be bullish or bearish naturally this went into a consolidation and as we look through this consolidation there were ample trading opportunities for us the first coming from the lows of this bullish engulfing we ticked all three boxes for our stochastic as we were oversold we had divergence bullish divergence and ultimately the crossover came in providing the buy signal we moved back towards the resistance on the top of this range before seeing an impulsive breakout on the back of us cpi data which was a miss on expectation uh, back on wednesday However, immediately after the fundamental data release, we pulled back in, retested that trend line, where we were provided with a shooting star, a bearish reversal pattern, once again confirmed by our stochastic. We have bearish divergence, we crept into the overbought region, and again, ultimately, that sell signal coming in, having pulled back up towards the level and then selling off. As we made our ways to the bottom of the range, it was a similar process once again. Hammer formation coming in, a bullish reversal pattern down at support where we found ourselves oversold, bullish divergence, and once again, that crossover signal coming in just before the accelerated push to the top side. Now, the one chart that looks like it could get you in trouble and the one trade that could get you in trouble is up here back at resistance. We do see this shooting star we also see a bearish engulfing back to back, providing strong sell signals at this clear resistance level. However, those three boxes that need to be ticked for stochastic not in play. We can see the red arrow here suggesting that in fact we have a higher high on the stochastic and therefore we do not have bearish divergence and therefore no trade here to be taken. It was great levels of confirmation as this market did push higher before ultimately testing the highs once again, forming a shooting star, this time confirmed by those three confirmations. Overbought, bearish divergence and ultimately that sell signal coming in from the crossover to take us back to the lows. Now of course the price at some point likely to break out of that range and we can see the potential trade opportunities. One is to be long through the top of the range ignoring the fundamental spike here not technically driven and therefore removed from our analysis alternatively it's a break out of the bottom side of this range and that's ultimately what we saw and the aggressive sell-off took us down towards this weekly pivot point which was well respected before we went on to meet the mpo of that range just taking the vertical height of that range projecting it down and coming up just shy here before ultimately then breaking through, retesting the weekly pivot and continuing lower. So whilst an awkward market, if you are a trend-based trader, excellent opportunities here for those looking to capitalize on a range-bound market. Uh, that is all from us this week. Please do join us again at the same time next week.